Hey guys, and welcome to the video. So here today, we are going to cover two things. The newly released uh, CFW from Rebug 4.86.1 Lite. And then I'm going to cover with you, for those who are on Hen, a method for you to get an unofficial version of 4.86 Hen and be able to get back online. Now, these are two different things. I'm not going to cover, you know, how to jailbreak your system. It's assumed that you know your way around a modded PS3, whether it's with custom firmware or with Hen. However, when we get to the Hen part, I will do a kind of a little semi tutorial thing because there's a few things that we have to cover there to get clear before, you know, you just run into the 486 hen. So first let's start off with the people on custom firmware and Kex with rebug and then we'll jump into the hen thing. All right guys, so first things first, for those who are on full custom firmware and you have Kex custom firmware installed in your system, you can install this new Rebug 4.86.1 Lite version. This custom firmware can be installed right over any other custom firmware that is 4.86 or less. And as long as the CFW is Kex, do not install this over DEX. And once you install this, you cannot convert it over to DEX. That's one of the reasons why it's light. But for example, if you have Ferrix 4.85, you can install this right over that. You do not need to install HFW first. As long as you have custom firmware installed in its Kex, this can go right over it. When you come here, you click on it. When you scroll all the way down to the bottom, this zip file here will contain the download information. And then here is the new toolbox that goes with it. If you have an older Rebug toolbox installed, make sure you delete it from the XMB and then install this new one. Also, do not install this custom firmware if you are spoofing, like for example, with Send Enabler. So if you have Send Enabler that is active, you must go into Send Enabler you need to disable it, reboot the system, make sure it's not running, and then you can install this custom firmware over your other custom firmware. Okay, so that will do it for this. Let's go ahead and move on uh, to the hen people. Oh, and before we continue, when you install custom firmware, um, you don't have to worry about losing your games or your profile or your saves or anything like that when you're just putting you know, one custom firmware right over the other one. The only thing you might lose is just maybe your theme. It'll just go back to stock. Okay, now for those who are going to use Hen, there's a couple of things you're gonna need. First, you need a USB storage that is formatted to FAT32. Then you need to come here and get the official 486 update pub file. You can scroll all the way down to the bottom and it's right here, or you could just get it from the link down in the description. I'll put a direct download link there. Same thing here for HFW. You will need this as well. 486 HFW can be had here from this download link, but I will also provide that direct download as well in uh, my description. Once you have the official uh, PS3 update pub, which is right here, I just downloaded it, and then you have the HFW zip file, you can go ahead and put them on your desktop. Let's take that official 486 update and we are going to put it on our USB. So on the USB, it doesn't matter what you have on there. Just make sure you have enough space. Make sure there's a folder called PS3, all in caps. Inside of that folder, there needs to be an update folder and it needs to be update all in caps, go into it. And then first we are going to install the official 486 update. Do not worry, you're not going to lose your homebrews or your games or your, you know, saves or anything like that. Also, this works whether you already have Hen installed or you don't have Hen installed, it doesn't matter. So just follow these steps. Okay, once you have it there, let's go ahead and remove the USB. And what you're going to do is once you remove it, put it into any USB port on your PS3, come to system update, 
choose update via storage and then you will see the 486 uh, version there and just hit yes. Go ahead and install it. Once it's done installing, it will bring you back to the XMB. Okay, so once the official 486 has finished installing, put the USB back into your PC. When you come here, let's go into the PS3 folder, into the update folder. Let's delete the official 486 pup file we put in there. Now let's go into the HFW zip file that we just downloaded, extract that into that update folder on your USB. And then once that's done, you must rename it to ps 3 updatpup which this file already says it there. You just have to delete all the stuff at the beginning, which we'll do here in just a second. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and remove all this. We just want to say ps 3 updatpup which it does. Now we can go ahead and remove this USB. Now, once you remove the USB, put it back into any port of your PS3, come back into system update. And when you go to update via storage, now you will see it says 486 HFW. You must install this two times. So install it once, wait till it's done. Once it brings you back to the XMB, come right back here and install it again. Okay, so now that you've installed 486 OFW once, and then you installed 486 HFW twice, let me go ahead here and show you real quick that I am on 486 and you can see it right there. Also, let me make this a little bit larger so you can see it a bit better. All right now, make sure your PS3 is connected to the internet. Let's go over to the browser and by the way, if you had any hen stuff here, for those that did, you'll notice that pretty much all the hen stuff should be gone, right? And your homebrews will remain and that's fine. So let's go into the browser. And then when you go into the browser, go ahead and press triangle. There's a few things we got to set up. Go into tools, go to JavaScript and make sure it's set to on. Now we are going to go back out and go to confirm browser close make sure that is set to off okay now go back select home page make sure you select use blank page and then hit ok i've already done it hit triangle again and then you will need to delete the cookies delete the search history and delete the cache so let's do all of that real quick Okay, and then once you've done that, if you need to back out of your browser and come back in, when you do, you should be set up with the blank page as you can see here. All right, next we will go ahead and press start. Let's delete what's there and you will need to go to the site that I have posted up on the screen. I will also put the site down in the description as well. So I've already been to it, so it's already here. Okay, when you type it in, hit start. Now, once you do that, it will immediately go to downloading and it will download the ps3hen.p3t file, which is fine. Then just hit circle. Now go ahead and go over to initialize hen installer. Make sure the auto close browser uh, box is checkmarked, which it is, and then pick initialize. Happen instantly, or sometimes you'll get a little progress percentage like I did here. Now that hen installer is initialized successfully, go ahead and go over to install hen. Make sure the, it turns to a little finger. There we go. And go ahead and press X. And it'll say installing hen. And there we go. It says welcome to hen. All right. And then as soon as it says that, you're going to get this downloading right here. 
Just let it do its thing. Download complete. Now go ahead and just tap circle. And when you do, it will automatically go into installing. And this is all done by itself. It does it as soon as you hit circle to go back. So you don't have to push anything else. Okay, once it's done, now you hit circle again. Okay. And at this point, you are going to come over here to remote play. When you go to remote play, you are going to press X. As soon as you go into it and you see the words pop up, immediately hit circle. Okay, so my words popped up, but it didn't record them because I did it really quick. So as soon as the words pop up on the screen, you'll go ahead and hit circle. When you do that and you come back out, you'll notice that you now have some of the hen stuff here again. Okay, there we go. Now, that's it. Hen is installed. You can run it. You may have to reboot the system because if you try to run it right now, you might get a failed and it will reboot. So you may have to reboot uh, the first time you use it, but then after that it should work. So let's see. Let's go ahead and select it. It may tell me it will it failed and then it will reboot. Or it might not. Okay, there we go. Now that usually happens the first time, so don't worry about it. After that, everything should work. All right, and now that we reboot it, let's go ahead and activate Hen. And this time around, it should work, and we should see the confirmation up here. There we go. Welcome to Hen 3.0.1. My webman is activated again. Right, and we could go into it. Let me load up a game. I'm not going to launch it. I'm just going to load it. All right, there we go. So we have Hen working again. Let's go over here uh, to system settings again. And you can see I am on 486. And that's all that you have to do. I appreciate you guys watching. Whenever the official hen comes out, I will let you guys know. If you found anything here useful, helpful, informative, make sure that you hit that like button. Or if you just want to throw some love or appreciation towards the channel, that's the best way to do it, of course. Much love going out there to everyone. Hope you enjoy getting back online. Be careful, be safe, have fun, and we will see you on the next one.